So the latest return to Moria Trader has just dropped at Summer Games Fest and they've got a release window. I was expecting a release date, it does seem still a bit ambiguous, but get excited because it could be launching this fall. Return to Moria is going to be an Epic Games exclusive by looks of things for a while before launching on other platforms on PC like Steam. Return to Moria will also appear on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S and I'm kind of hoping since it's an early access game on the Epic Games Store we may see it arrive on the game preview program on Xbox maybe. Otherwise I imagine there is going to be some sort of big wait before we see it actually appear on other platforms so expect it to see on the Epic Games Store for at least a year. With the disappointment of Golem maybe this is the next greatest hope in terms of Lords of the Rings until we obviously get the brand new big MMO that they may be working on in the far far future. If you don't know it is going to be an 8 player co-op action survival adventure game where you'll be able to do obviously base building as you mine deep for resources like mithril gold and more to craft unique weapons as well as accessories as you mine your way and hopefully don't come into too much contact with some of the more evil and nefarious creatures. Expect to see lots of nice little easter eggs to previous films and of course the books. Return to Moria isn't hand shackled by the lore and history as it's going to be set in the future after the events of Lord of the Rings so hopefully somewhat have a bit more freedom which I think sometimes these games do need. That way they can't disappoint people as such that we've seen in the past. This looks pretty cool though, different weapons on show. I'm going to go through all this in a bit more slow-mo and detail analysis. Let's go. So we get more glimpse at some of the procedurally generated areas we'll be exploring. It is a procedurally generated game in terms of the environments with the resources and obviously much more like you would expect to see in a mine. I like the idea that you'll be able to build and place building parts pretty much almost anywhere by the looks of things. The idea that we can actually build tunnels and mine properly through veins and walls is really cool too. Hopefully finding secret tombs and more. It looks pretty expansive. We actually have to do everything, like place all the platforms, absolutely everything to set up your own mining. I think that'd be really cool. Looks like we'll come across very important areas guarded by maybe magic sigils. The placement of maybe defenses is equally gonna be as important as you can see here, a kind of arrow or archery tower. But of course it is gonna have some opulence and decorations is looking likely to be a big part considering how much is on show. From lights on the tables and chairs to obviously more ornate braziers, weapon holders as well as dummies for practicing melee weapons and stuff. It looks pretty cool. And then more sweeping shots of the environments, all dark and spooky, but some places looking likely to have some light, maybe just given off by mithril or some other means. And it looks like the doors have got a lot of bling bling going on with their armor sets that we see here, all covered in ornate gold and more. First look at some of the actual enemies we'll be facing other than just orcs. I'm guessing this is their version of a troll, it looks okay. Obviously it's a little bit more cartoony than obviously you might be expecting, but that's the style they've gone for. And then obviously, yeah, we've got the regular orcs. This is interesting, the Watcher in the Water is going to be making a return. Obviously guarding the entrance that you had to speak friend to, obviously pulling Frodo into the waters before being rescued by everyone else. Yeah, it does look really cool. This seemingly is going to be some sort of boss fight. Some more varieties of Orc Goblins style as well. And yes, you're going to be facing off against spiders. More Arachnids. Cue debate for another Arachnophobia mode, maybe. Very excited, very hyped. The trailer does look pretty good. I would have liked to have seen a bit more, considering it's going to be releasing in only a few months. Full running from, I guess, September through until maybe November, December at times. I could see this being delayed, given they've given no actual release date, and we've only seen this as the second piece of actual proper gameplay since it got announced over a year ago, I could definitely see this being delayed for next year. But, fingers crossed, I don't want to be too pessimistic, just not September. we still got a bunch of games coming out in September that have been revealed, and you can see more about that in my survival show. So make sure you watch the recap of everything that's been announced in terms of survival, and any other individual videos you may be seeing of any of the other new games that have caught my eye. That is it. That's what I expect or found out from watching the Lord of the Rings Return to Moria gameplay trailer. Latest wrap bags.